That's brand. Hey, before I get this this vlog started, about by your heads, just by your heads. I say by your heads. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm starting this vlog off in prayer, Father God, because who don't need it? I just want to first start off by saying thank you for keeping this earth afloat, traveling around a gas of fires and flames in the depths and darkness of the unlivable space that we call the universe. I also want to pray that you break every chain, Tasha Cobbs, off of my finances, every piece, Father God, that Starbucks has been taken from me because I have this. I don't want to call it an addiction, God, because I'm not playing an addiction. But Father God, I break it and bind it up and send it back to dry walking places that I feel that I got to go to Starbucks every single day and tell these people my name is thirsty so that I feel whole, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, break them off my cash app. Break them off the Zelle, Lord, PayPal, Apple Pay. Ooh, it's specifically, uh, I've picked up shopping at night on Amazon, Lord. Break that off right now in the mighty name of Jesus because you know I'm trying to do things with my life. And I got to free some things up off of my finances, Father God. And I just want to thank you, God. Thank you for giving me my ass to see, the feet to walk on, the knees to bend down. Because my knees ain't been the same since 1999, but I thank you for the knees, God. Thank you for the stretch marks and the booty dimples, God. Thank you for everything. Thank you for every piece of adversity that you have sent my way and the grace to get through every single thing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Y'all think I'm playing, but I ain't playing. I'm going to Starbucks right now, and I just prayed the, I just prayed the prayer. Because tomorrow, I'm not going to be there seven days. This, this is going to be the last day that I go to Starbucks. Seven seven days. They say it takes 90 days to break a habit. But I'm starting off with seven days. If I can do it for seven days, I can do it. This is the dress that just came in the mail today. I'm so excited. It was supposed to be here on Friday, but it's a couple of days early. Okay, holla at a player. I'll try it on when I get back from getting my emotional support drink. But like I said, Jesus is my emotional support. So I'm going to release that. And I'm not going to drink Starbucks for the next seven days. But yeah, let's go. I can never decide which sunglasses to wear. It's between the early 2000s. Sunshine, I could call you my baby boy. And you could call me your baby girl. And maybe we could spend some time. And I could be your sunshine. Or them good old Top Guns. Take my breath away. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? You know the movie with Tom Cruise? When he was flying on airplanes and his partner died? No? Oh, damn, that old. Y'all never seen. Y'all never seen Top Gun? What's wrong with y'all? Take my breath away. Turk, take my breath away. Oh, yeah, yeah, take my. Oh, okay, alright, alright. Um, yeah, I think we've chosen. I think we've chosen. Let's go. Before I leave, I need to put lunch in the oven though. Oh. You know you're never too old to get told. Stop opening that damn door so hard. My bad. Girl, let me put, girl, let me put this in the oven before my mama come around the corner. Cause I can't afford to help nobody replace the refrigerator. This one is expensive, one, child. Got the, it got the iPad on it, the Dilly Dads, baby. I ain't got no piece of money to put back into this. Okay. Now, kids have been gone for the darn near the whole summer. I really haven't cooked anything, you guys. I've been living off like these ready-made meals from Publix. This one is the spicy pineapple chicken. This is going in the oven. You know, I got to feed my mama child because she she's my only child that I have here, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to go get my emotional support drink. And then I'm going to tell you guys who won the $50 gift card for gas. And who is in the runnings to win the $100 gift card because you should have listened to me yesterday when I told y'all what to do. Don't go back. Don't you go back trying to put in the questions how I said put the questions in. Yeah, you had your chance, Willis. I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, walking because I'm homebound. Thirsty? All right, oh, thirsty. Well, then I have to help you. I'm doing good. Can I get a venti? Chai latte iced. 
recommend. Yeah, it's very left. What else were you today? With um, two extra pumps of chai and a strawberry cold foam on top. Two pumps of extra chai and the, is it strawberry cold foam? Yeah. It wouldn't be believable if I didn't start this video off with prayer, right? And how I wanted Starbucks to be released, okay, from my finances. Why did I go to Starbucks, told my name is Thirsty, right? I'm like, oh, hey, Thirsty, it's you, of course. How you doing? How you mama doing? I get to the drive through window when I'm ready to pay, and he's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> the, for real? Now, this isn't the first time that this has happened to me. This is the second time that this has happened to me. And I don't think it's because I come there a lot. I think when I do go there, typically, like, if it's a good day for me, good real estate day for me, or good YouTube day for me, like, I'm sewing back into <laughs> Starbucks, y'all. I'll buy the persons in front of me coffee and two cars back. So they know that thirsty come through, honey. So, yeah, I've been getting, like, my coffees on the house. And I finally figured out, like, what I want to be in life, like, what I really want to be. And I've been praying about it and asking God to put me in the position to do that and be those things that I'm asking for. And I've been, like, you know, aligning my life up, not drinking, trying to exercise. I ain't saying no exercise every day, but yeah, yeah. And just being nice to myself and being kind to others and sewing back into people that help me. That's why I'm sewing back into my YouTube channel because, like, you guys are such a great support system. So, yeah, I want to be a philanthropist when I grow up. I find great joy in being able to give, if not just a piece of something, you know, that I worked for to somebody else, not even not even wanting to know the story or whatever or what you need, but just being able to say, here you go, because God has blessed me so much. So, yeah, one day I'm going to be able to like buy somebody's groceries, send um, somebody to college besides my kids. Or being able to pay somebody's rent up for six months to a year, especially a single mother's. You know, I got a single single mama's got my heart. Or I don't know, like being able to donate money to a hospital. NICU has my heart, y'all. I don't know. I just wanna, I wanna be able to give back because at once upon a time, that that was my story, and the 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 help that I received, the little bit of help that I received from complete strangers was monumental in getting me to where I am today and getting me to push through. Girl, I'm not about to cry. Girl, we're not about to cry. But getting me to push through certain situations where I felt like, damn, I feel like I'm just I'm just down. And that's why words are so powerful. Um and how you treat people, it does matter. People are like, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. My, does, it's just words. It's just my opinion. Screw your opinion. Shove it up your butt. You little heathen. Who raised you? Anyway, the point is, I have my emotional support drink on the house from Starbucks. You guys always ask me this drink, and I always tell y'all the same thing. It's a chai latte iced. You're going to get a venti. You're going to get two to three pumps extra. Get your choice of milk. I like to do almond milk or oat milk. I don't know. It just picks up the spices better than regular milk. And then you're going to do a strawberry cold foam on top. Okay. I'm just saying. The choice is yours. Choose wisely. Secondly, I just went through my comment section on the previous video. And... There's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Or I wouldn't even say a winner because everybody's a winner. If you woke up today, you are a winner. But the person who was closest to the amount of gas that I put in my car was... Rose Mary Marsh, 95. 98. The only thing that you need to do is go to the comment. I've pinned it just to make it easy for you. And leave me your cash app. I figured that's gonna be the easiest way because then I'm gonna have to verify your email, email you verify. Somebody could possibly scam you and I don't want you to get scammed. So just make sure you leave me your cash app below underneath your comment and I will get those funds over to you and it'll be titled gas. Or you can DM me. No, no DMs. Again, people will make an account just to try and scam you out of your coins. I think Cash App is the best and easiest way. If that's okay with you. If not, we'll figure out another way. You know, when you chop onions, save them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. And when you're ready to use them, you already have onions. And they're not stinking up 
your refrigerator, right? And they're not going bad. They're ready to go. Pro tip. Don't look at my thumb. I tried to paint my nails last night and I stopped at one. Child, please. <laughs> I haven't been out in my garden lately. Everything's burnt up, child. However, I do have some new bell peppers on the plant. But like I said, it's just too hot. I don't know what's dead or alive out there. I do have every intention of doing some replanting and trying to save whatever is savable out there. But right now, it's just too hot. Like, it's too hot. But this is my okra from my garden. Bell peppers from my garden. Whenever I harvest, I go ahead and chop them up and freeze them just because I don't want my hard earned work going to waste. I probably should have tried on that dress before I just ate, but what the hell? Let's try it on. Feels cottonish. if I got my butt done. Maybe I've always had a little jiggler back there, okay? It's always been a jiggler. Child, this dress is cute. Okay, this is the back. Woo, child. Yes, honey, yes. You see it, you see it. Now look, I ordered this dress off Amazon on the strength of my BFF inside my head, Portia Williams, honey. And the dress was dressed on her, but she don't got legs, hips, body, all of that, okay? And I was just like, Lord, just let this dress fit me like it fits her. And you see it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and you know you really feel yourself and you got to walk across back the screen. <laughs> you see me? Uh -huh. I'm going to leave the link in the description box for this dress below, honey. Bye.